Bradshaw out with suspension. Ivan Franjic, of course, served his suspension from their 5-2 loss against Hume City. And he's back in the side today as we get underway here at Petty's Reserve. Melbourne Knights in their red kits kicking from left to right, while Manningham in their right kits from right to left. And Manningham already doing some early attacking. It's a great ball through and a chance for Harding, and it's a good save by Oldfield. We'll come back to that in just a sec as Knights breaking forward down this left to Albano. Driving forward there, John Albano, still going. Corralled by Castiello, feeds it to White. In some space, he hits it, and it's just over the bar there from Steve White. The back up, I think, has been a, a, a big key factor. Ball over the top for Albano. Just puts it over. Good hold up play there from the former Perth Glory striker. Feeds it centrally to Sewell. He's semi in some space. Out now to Albano. Albano gets it onto his left, and his effort was always rising, and it's out for a goal kick. They're going to have to be wary of that, especially when the likes of Everson drop a bit deeper and it creates a little bit more space for him. Theodore Acopolis Carter, nice flick to Ramirez. Not a bad effort from Jose Ramirez. The meals you eat, you know, you're used to a set routine and then you come on a Saturday 3 o'clock. You have to change everything up. Here's Semi. Find some space, Tommy Semi. That was a stinging effort there. It's inside Carter, isn't it? All right. Coming together there as the ball fed in towards Theodore Acopolis. And the shot is blocked by Franjic and out for a corner. Theodore Acopolis again whips it in. Castiello gets ahead to it. It's helped on its way and it's in. Junior Carter. Manningham once again take the lead here at Petty's Reserve. You know, credit to him. You know, they did what they had to do, got the results, and, and here they are playing against the Knights. Bramwell on goal and it's saved by Zamoranis. Castiello, strong touch and a big He's challenge there on Bramwell. He's in trouble. And a yellow card awarded second. there from Ross Clark. But as you said, Mark, he might be a touch fortunate there. Actually, it's a second yellow for Alex Castiello. I stand corrected. Feeds it in board. Bramwell with the yeah. effort. Yeah. Melbourne Knights are level. It was coming. It was a good spell there from the Knights. And Kieran Bramwell with his third goal of the season brings the scores level on the brink of half time. Goes to Harding here on the right-hand side. Cuts inside here, Harding. Feeds Georgeopoulos. Georgeopoulos gets around on field. And his effort comes off the bar. You slowly chip away, frustrate your opponent, and the opportunities will come. Albano. Has support from Werndl. Feeds White. Breaking ball out to Semi. Good first touch there. Out now to Bramwell. He hits it on goal. Not a bad effort from Kieran Bramwell. We spoke about that end being the, the end for the fantastic. And Kieran Bramwell right from the top locker. With an absolute stunner. And Melbourne Knights have the lead shortly after half time. Still though, this Manningham team has a lot of defending to do just to stay in this game and give themselves a chance at... Maybe getting something from it. Albano gets around Volgara. Still going. Albano, good save by Zamoranis. Semi at the back post. and Bramwell, great hold-up play to find Albano. He's been getting a lot of the ball in this second half. He cuts inside. Albano hits it on goal. And it's a good save. Ball there from Sanchez for Saki, who did well to make up for the poor first touch. Sul, Saki outside of the cross. Ball Albano! And he's just put it wide. Corey Sewell with a long ball looking for Albano. And he's seemingly timed his run well there. Brings it under control. Albano cuts inside. Gets around Volgaris. And Albano still going. Saved by Zamoranis. And Sanchez's efforts cleared off the line. Bit of a, a mix-up there as Cardinal to take that free kick quickly. And now a chance for the Blues to break. Tuntus. Plays it short. Golding looking back for Tuntus. And Oldfield quick off his line. It's Carrigan. Sends it long. Albano. Oh, a touch just goes straight back in the path of Owen Dufton. Owen Dufton under some pressure there from Albano. Good little battle here, and they're still going. And now Jack Morton looking to go back the other way. A bit of words there between Albano and Dufton as Morton out to Saki in some space, and he puts it over the bar. 